Hey guys, what's up? It's the Banana Crew, and we game and finale. That's right. You hear it, folks. Right here, right now. We're doing the very last right dungeon. Right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. This is the very last dungeon to complete our Elliot Quest playthrough. There's a few bosses, lots and lots of puzzles. Just stick around and keep watching. It's so much fun. Maybe a half heart piece if we get lucky. <laughs> Oh, It's gotta be somewhere. It's gotta be, but I have no clue where. Yeah, screw up those guys' day. Or not. <laughs> Mostly your day. At least these little things aren't the insta-kill spiky blocks. From the wizard's tower? Yeah, yep. fuck that shit. Because those were annoying as all hell. They really were. And by the way, you can totally use the wind powers to just bypass those, in case you weren't aware. They might have been because of our playthrough, but at the same time, I don't, I don't think, know. Do you ever show us I going through that? I didn't know if I, I don't know if I showed it, but I do remember. Uh, I know we figured it out eventually. It. We have to find a boss key. Yep, there's a boss key in this. Oh, level. we're actually in another dungeon. We are in a dungeon. It's about time, right? It's been a long time since we've been in a dungeon. Man, was the last episode we were in a dungeon? It was like. 14 or earlier it was the one where we got the ice spell so however long ago that was years and it was the one we were talking about Travis days. Parker and <laughs> fucking <laughs> oh that's right so this dungeon is really cool because there's these shadow Elliots right here and they fucking help you throughout the entire thing and it's the best they help you they fucking help you it's so great you release them and then they go to specific parts of the dungeon where you just they help you they help you get through it I'm not used to shadows that help you it's a little weird. It is a little weird. I'm more used to the shadows that are trying to kill you in the water temple <laughs> and various other places. Really, I've never met a, like a shadow doppelganger in any game that was a positive. Fucking owls. Purple. Fucking damn purple ools. Ools. Nobody wants your fucking hoodles. <laughs> you a hoot over there, man. Owl man. Owl man. Owl man. Different than the bird man. Oh, Coming soon to theaters. It's out of theaters. Is it out of? Is it? Is it's in it, theaters. Whatever. The By the other time one, most people probably watch this video, it'll be out of theaters. Yeah, you're right. Ding, oh ding, God! Ding, ding, I ding, guess ding, I could just ding, run ding, into ding, it. Ding, ding. <laughs> well, you better have gotten that upgraded shield if you feel like finishing the game. Yeah, about that. I think really no items. Oh, cool. Oh, never mind. Did you don't, you didn't need that part. Don't need this at all. Okay. <laughs> Good to know, though. I was about to say, I guess the game forces you to get all the items, but apparently not. Uh, that was unfortunate. It really was. Oh, I think I know where the last bomb upgrade is. I think it's in this dungeon, but I can't remember. Uh, that would be delightful. It since would be very delightful. Somebody cheated the last time on hey, their playthrough to hey, get all the bomb upgrades. Hey. Taking advantage of glitches and whatnot. Trying to fucking sell. Oh, thank you. That guy's a bitch. Also, there's this giant wall that we have to blow up. I wonder where that goes. Definitely not towards the satar. The satirical satar. What? Laser eyes? Yeah, fuck this guy. He was like a Beemos, but oh, shit, way I more him. annoying. I fucking needed him. Go respawn Baby, come really back. Quick. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on Hippie. <laughs> it's all his fault. It usually is. It wasn't really my fault at all. Yeah, because fucking you don't play this game anymore. Oh, God. So perfect is what I was going to say. Well. I mean, either way you want to look at her. Fucking be conceited there. Both are accurate. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. No. I will know if I want to. I will I can also know if I want to. <laughs> I can know my friends behind. Because if they don't know, and if they don't know... Then, then they're pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, morons. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with those friends of mine. You know, in fact, I would say they're no friends of mine. I'm going to leave them behind at like a gas station somewhere, probably. Wow, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who wants to go on a road trip? I do. Good. Oh. Hey, Hippie, you want to run inside to this gas station real quick and buy me some Rolos? Sure. Also, the really cool thing about this dungeon is it teleports you to totally different parts of the dungeon. I love it so much. Way to be confusing, dungeon. Oh, it's one of my favorite dungeons, though. Look at this background. Look how fucking bright that is. Are you Holy in, like, shit. the crystal caverns of chaos? I think so. Is this where they mine so the chaos emeralds? This is where they help you. Look at this. They, they, they follow your movements? Yep. Jump. Jump. Move. So you're gonna make him... Okay. Real cool game. So how does one wombat? Like so. 
Oh, okay, so they can't follow your little speedy Oh god, speedy what boots. is this? What is this? It's he's a got boss? a stick! Watch out for his stick! Or he's got looks like the one of the worms from Binding of Isaac that How you pick up. I hurt him. Oh, like that. That's right. Oh man, he is he is stunned by your capabilities. <laughs> Clearly. That was not even that was a mini boss. It was a mini boss. It's a key. Ein key. <laughs> do 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 keys. So the oh, annoying fuck. bad enemy. Oh, that's right. You don't need him anymore. Oh shit, that's lava. Don't jump down there. <laughs> like I almost. It doesn't did. even really look like lava. You can kind of see it. I'll show you. When no, this I saw it. Oh, it just okay. didn't look that much like yeah. lava. Yeah. It didn't look like the last lava we saw. It definitely did not. Okay, so Maybe it's just indiscriminate cool. orange death goo. <laughs> I find that I encounter that more often than you would think in my day-to-day -day life. Indiscriminate orange death goo? Yeah. Where? Well, I work at a restaurant. There's a lot of indiscriminate death goos around. <laughs> oh, oh. Restaurants are kind of gross. They really are, though. Restaurants are the worst. The stuff people send back is hilarious because you have no idea what counts as totally food safe in the kitchen area. I think you can't go back this way. I think you have to go back the other way. You have to go around. I'll show you what for! Oh, I lied. <laughs> Man, I would've been stuck forever. Maybe even... Five, five ever. ever. But seven ever? I'm actually pretty smart, seventh so probably heaven? it would've been more like two ever. Don't mention Seventh Heaven. Why not? Because Seventh Heaven is an awful show. It's the best show. It's a mindless show. I used to be forced to watch that show. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I used to watch Full House of my own accord, so... That's okay, though. I'm not gonna say too much. You know it was a good show, though. Boy Meets World. Never watched it. Isn't I it coming back for, like, a sequel show or something? <laughs> I think it already has. Oh, God. It's Girl Meets World. It's the original two characters who have now gotten married and have a child and That's live in New horrible. York. That's horrible. Yay! It was not the best idea ever. No. Does not seem like it. I don't know if... I would not watch that. Somebody very accurately thought to themselves, what if we brought back this beloved Shit. classic... To make money. That's all what the movie and TV industry is all about, though. I mean, really, they just bring back classics. Oh, shit. Well, and I mean, to be fair, you can't blame them for trying to make money. You can't make TV unless you're making money. It takes a lot of budget to make those really cool TV shows and movies that you like so much. It does, but still, the fact stands. The cheese stands. They're, like, remaking alone. every single Disney movie just for the fuck of it to make money. And are they? What yeah. Disney movies are they remaking? Like, fucking Cinderella and... Are they remaking Cinderella? Yeah. What? Oh, this part's hard. This part's fucking hard. I'm guessing he dies if he touches the spikes? Yep. And he does not jump... One to one with you? Yeah. But the cool thing is... Yeah, fuck. <laughs> the cool thing is you can just make him explode. Yeah, you can just fucking murder him if you want. He does not have the double jump, so be wary of that. You have to time your jumps perfectly. You have to watch his shadow, basically. Don't care about your fucking shit. There we go. I would have done that the wrong way. <laughs> I probably would have just jumped on my own and taken the damage and assumed that's what it's supposed to do. <gasps> Is that guy gonna be in the way? Is that guy gonna fuck up our day? I don't think so. Okay, now you have to ferry that guy. Maybe? I'm yeah. confused. You have to ferry him over here, but be careful because... You can't touch... You can't touch the shadow with him, or else you just get fucked. The statues are a really cool mechanic. So then you just gotta jump over him. I'm pretty sure you can't touch the shadow when you're controlling the shadow. I'm fairly certain. Yeah. If you're controlling the shadow, at least it was like that when I played it. I bet if you're controlling the statue, you can't touch the shadow because the statue breaks boxes and does damage when you're moving it. Yes, that. It has hit points on it, so it's like you're damaging them. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, actually. The shadows probably have, like, one health built in. So if they touch anything or get damaged by anything, Hi. they'll die. So that was two out of three shadows, right? Yep. There's one more, and the last one's pretty cool. I've been digging it so far. It's a very, very cool mechanic that I Didn't don't get to see a lot in games. I don't know if I've ever seen it pulled off in quite this way either. Alright, I didn't expect it to be in this game at all, to be completely honest with you. Like, I it's awesome that, that even at this mechanic. point in the game, we are still getting new game mechanics to play around with. Oh yeah, and just wait for the satar too. Oh fuck, that boss is intricate as all hell. It's all hell, and hell's pretty intricate. They got like a jacuzzi I mean, I and a spiral staircase. <laughs> And a Jamba Juice. Jamba Juice? I love Jamba Juice! 
Who doesn't love Jamba Juice? What is Jamba Juice? I don't know. Oh. But people love it! <laughs> I know those people can't get enough of that there Jamba Juice. I just can't get enough of that Jamba Juice. Jamba, Dude, you should Jamba. write a Jamba Juice commercial. Jamba Jamba, don't you want a Jamba Jamba? <laughs> he, I take it back. You might get, <laughs> you might get somebody sued. We got a key. Hootin nanny. Do we, do? we have two keys actually. Yes, we do. In excess of keys. Can we go down? Can we go to the right? We already been there. We've already been everywhere, man. <gasps> We've been everywhere. Yeah, dude. I've been yeah, to dude. Tennessee, where well, the Tallahassee, Rhode London. Island, Germany. <laughs> I've been everywhere, man. Oh, I've been everywhere. Cross the desert stair, man. I've been everywhere. I like that song. It's a good song. Who writes that song? Who plays that song originally, or secondarily, or Johnny Cash? Watch fairly. I thought so. Maybe. Yes. It's, Is it? It's Johnny Cash. Okay. <laughs> man, that man sure went to a lot of places. He definitely has been everywhere, man. He's been everywhere. Okay. I man. Kind of lost at this point. Hmm. Hey, look! It's a door. You use that. Go this way. <laughs> Good explanation. What is with the death fish? <laughs> oh my god. The platforming. It's so intense. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Take that platforming. You're no match for my years and years of watching Hippie play this game <laughs> as he did that pretty well. I've been through this. Oh god, I forgot about this part. I love this part. This looks awesome. It's like some frogger shit right here. Like vertical frogger. Yeah! Woo! Kick vertical frogger's ass. Okay, now. Okay. Watch out for that semi! <laughs> Watch out for that crocodile! No! Good thing I start right here. I'm so glad there's a save point here. I mean, there's save points in the final level? Yeah. I would have guessed not. <laughs> <laughs> Just based on the rest of this game, I would have thought, nah. Climbing up, up, up. This wizard tower the of The first fire. one's really easy. This it's wizard like, tower hey, fire. here you go. Here's a mechanic we're gonna start introducing. Now have fun with this one. Like, not only does this dungeon have one or two, it has m just many, many new game mechanics Woo. to play with. Woo. New puzzles, new ways to get around the dungeon. It's so cool. God, I hope there becomes an Elliot quest too at some point in the future. Looking at you, Anzimov's games, Anzimov's um, job, go make another one. Yeah, then give us early access again because we're awesome. We'll 100% it again, and we'll put it up and we'll promote you because we love you for making this game. And we know that we are your favorite Let's Players of your whole game. And you got hit by the super damaging thing. Yeah, I did. It would have been nice to get like one more <sighs> armor upgrade in this game though, for real. I feel like one more would have made this pretty solid. It really would have. But I guess the whole point of the game was difficulty anyways. Alright, don't yeah, want to go down can... there. I don't want to go down there yet. Ooh, secret suspense area for later. Run away. I want to do this one first. Okay. Oh, nice little puzzle. Crush him with your block! Yes. Push this block twice. Do that. Mm. But then you can't get up. You should have pushed it the other direction. Fuck, you're right. I'm always right. I'm right like 98.9% .9 of the time, which according to most scientists, we could just go ahead and call that enough. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Actually, that's not true at all. Scientists demand 100% accuracy on their theories. They do. A single disproving factor is enough to disprove the entirety of the theory. Uh, yeah. Okay, and do that, and do that. Yeah, you get that button, Shadow Elliot. We got this covered over here. Alright, now you go get... This fucking fire thing. Woo! These are the kind of puzzles I love. They require like such specific movement. You really have to stop and think oh, about no. what's going on. <gasps> now it's that guy and Again? a bouncy eye. Well, nope, no bouncy eyeball. Oh no! This guy's not too bad to beat. I like no, the anime not. design too, though. He's really fucking easy to beat. He's mm -hmm. the easiest. Hey, if you don't use a lot of weapons, then you're gonna you're gonna struggle. You're gonna have some problems. I feel like, had I played this on my own without Let's Playing it, I probably would not have used a ton of items. Or I would just would have left the wind power on 100% of the time. <laughs> just because it was most convenient and I'm too lazy to switch back and forth between items. I probably wouldn't even know that you could turn things into ice and then break them with rocks. It took me forever to find that one out, to be honest. Alright, so, to go down... Oh, okay, cool, just... Fuck. Just gotta go, go for it. Okay. 
Where Sometimes you just gotta take a leap of faith. Oh, he wants to sell you a purple welcome, bomb. Welcome, welcome. Take a look at my wares. What makes the bomb pinks? Industry secret, but if you use one, stand back. Dude, you have the worst location ever. <laughs> he really does. It's not very convenient at all. So are all our bombs gonna be pink bombs now? I believe so. Well, during this part, yeah. I so. wonder if there's any secret areas to unlock with the pink bomb. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm fairly certain they, they you don't have a pink bomb the entire time. It's okay, just Okay, you have to buy level. individual ones from <laughs> yeah. him. So I got to go back and buy another one because there's another Yeah, don't just like disappear from him. Don't leave him because you need another one. To... It's a link to the past style bomb. Yep. You know what the big bomb is and a link to the past or a link you between worlds. Better. Yeah, you really you should. My favorite game of all time. Oh, uh, actually. Wow. The game is being real generous here. It's because we're right before the boss. So I'm going to go ahead and grab two of those. I am a little split these days. Link to the Past was my favorite game of all time. And then I played Chrono Trigger. And now it's a pretty even split between the two. It's hard for me to pick my absolute favorite out of those. That's fair. I've never played Chrono Trigger, though, so I have no say in this best narrative RPG that I've ever played. I don't know, something about the story, it was just a little bit sci-fi, a little bit fantasy, all the characters were great, it had lots of drama, and the gameplay was so fun. It's... Was it high school drama? That's the no. best kind of drama? No. Okay. And Sorry. also no. Okay, cool. You know, that's one of the reasons why I don't understand the show Glee, because all the drama in that show is literally high school drama, who the hell wants to watch that in a TV show? The high schoolers? What? Like, old people watch it! That's horrifying. People like, I yearn for the days when people were just awful trash. I mean, not that <laughs> high schoolers are trash. Not all of them, anyways. What? Cool face you got there! <laughs> right? You go through his mouth and between his teeth. Uh, I can feel it in my teeth. I hope he feels he's it. He's got hair! Teeth. That's good. Kinda At least like, he's not bald. What ooh. is that design? That's a cool design. Anyway, we're going! Is the satire behind door number uno? Oh, that's a I, boss that's, checkpoint. That's a boss checkpoint, so, uh, yes. That, I will say yes. Also, there's a bunch of stuff over here you can get Ooh, somewhere. Ooh, stuff. Not there. There's Maybe over somewhere. here. Maybe not there. Maybe over there. That's not there either. Where was it? Where I, I know I saw someone fighting something on one of these things. Just... No. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Look at that! <laughs> Spoilers, man! Okay, that is awesome. Holy hell, that is awesome, and you've already died. Yep, but it doesn't matter because of this fucking awesome save point. And we don't lose anything from dying at right. this point. And really, you shouldn't either by this point in the game. I'm trying to get up here super fast because... Oh, that's all that's up here is potions. Okay. Make well, sure you grab the right one. I or neither of them. them. I don't need them. That's awesome, though. I can't believe the game was actually nice enough to give you some... Potions, that looked like it hurt. Fucking just bang the hell out of your elbow on the desk. Oh. Anyway. <clears throat> Greetings, pet. You've saved me the trouble of looking for you. And my gratitude for destroying the guardians. Good pet. <laughs> it's just about time for... I've come a long way, and I'm tired. So let's cut the drama. And glee. <laughs> my name's Elliot. You took my wife, Kara. Prepare to die. My name is Inigo Montoya. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, you're not like the other pets. Hope you play nice. Oh jeez. Well, I do. Because we're doing a good run through. Fucking shit! It's the end of the game, you guys. Holy hell! And it does not disappoint in the visual oh department. Oh my god! At all? Not even a little bit. If you say you're disappointed right now, we're gonna have some words about how wrong you are. Okay. I'm so... very passionate about it. You gotta shoot him in the boxes. Shoot in the boxes. You fucking pull towards you. And you'll wind you him. Fucking, you wind his asshole. Well, that's not like Ratchet and Clank all party. for one. <laughs> so, Suck on my butt. <laughs> your, uh, your strategy's not working at all. <laughs> I'm trying. What is this with the cubes and... I don't really know. I, I, just, I don't know what this boss has to offer. Except whoop, for fucking insta-kill blocks. Whoop. <laughs> I'm gonna whoop whoop to safety. You think you gotta pull? You said you have to pull the cubes away, and then shoot them back at him. Oh fuck! Okay, so he does that, and that hurts, and then 
Oh, use those blocks to damage him. Hit him with rocks. Hit him with a rock. Other direction. <laughs> yeah, right. Hit him with a rock and possibly Iran. It may be Pakistan. Oh my god. And one hit. Woo, he did woo. not enjoy that very much. Or maybe he's a masochist and he's into that kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not here to judge. I'm here to kill. Wow. <laughs> that was a little weirder than I had hoped it would come out. I'm just so excited and pumped. We're finally here. So you know it would be clutch as all hell if you used a potion. Potion spot. Stop. Use a potion. There you go. Try to take less damage around this time. I will. Let's now increase that I know our, what I'm doing. our damage to him ratio or what the decrease okay, it. Okay, you have to wait for it to hit the ground before you can shoot it. Okay. Yeah, decrease our damage to hit ratio. No, no, increase our we damage. We need to improve our KD here. Yes. <laughs> we are being hit way too much. Oh, man. I'm had it with your demon wing genie magic crap and spitting rocks out. Uh. I love the visual as he goes in the background, has the awesome magical circles behind him as he summons these death, like, it's crush so fucking rocks. Cool. Oh, man. Anzimov is like a creative genius, for real. Okay, Woo! I thought that was gonna bounce over. And it is two hits with the cubes per bar of health. That one seemed like it took three, but... Oh, maybe... Uh, no. Okay, no, it's two. There we go. Let's Maybe say, the first I'm not one. A genius. Yeah, I'm no genie, but I know a thing or two about the Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> they make wishes come true, with lots of money. To be fair, though, it is a cool foundation. The Make a Wish is one of the coolest things. Like, if you had to quote something to an alien society that would prove, like, that your society is not complete and utter crap, it would be the the, the Make a Wish Foundation. Yeah, because they'd be a great one. They do a lot of cool things. We have an organization that just tries to. Spread a little joy before kids, you know, go Pass to the away. farm. Wow, man! I, Is that what happens to them? I think I they just had to go to a farm. Wow! I, who told you? Who told you all of this? I don't know, man. I thought they went to the same farm as my cats. Your backyard? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where would they be in the backyard? Because I've been there. I'm pretty. Are they underground? Yeah. And then they would. They would be. Oh my god! <laughs> Here I am laughing at this <laughs> because it's so goddamn hilarious. I'm having a horrific life changing moment and you're just giggling at me. Uh, yeah? Me too. <laughs> Use your tornado! Fuck. There you go. I think it did some stuff. Maybe, whatnot. I pulled some of the cubes away, but that's. There you go! Oh! You pulled them in and you bounced them off of you. That's what it was. Yeah, do that more. I like that. I like the part where it damages him a lot. Me too. I wish I could do it more. <laughs> We're getting pretty close. So just don't insta die. Don't, you know, panic and mess up your timing. Oh, yeah. Don't feel really pressured right now. I'm not feeling pressured at all, honestly. Damn it. Why isn't it working? My hands are sweaty. That's about it. Just, my hands get so sweaty when I'm, like, really intensely into a boss fight. Didn't even fucking oh. spot me this time. I used a potion all by myself. Aren't you proud of me? Eh. <laughs> I feel a little jaded that now I'm no longer part of the equation. Now I feel like I'm really not doing anything. So I guess I'll just sit here and twiddle my thumbs. No, keep commentating. We need Tweedle you. Twiddle my thumbs. I'm just... Come on, come on! Like Arctic Monkeys once said so wisely in a song. Come on, come on. What song was that? Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh. And that's not a sexual... I'm, it's not really an innuendo at that point. Or we could just be someone rushing you, like, come on! Jesus! Hurry up! God! Fucking the wire's coming on! <laughs> <laughs> I wanna watch the X Files! Ah, oh, fuck. Well, you, you get doggy style, so we can both watch X Files. That's right, quote Woo! a little bad touch for Woo! you here. Shit, he's at one bar! One bar! You're down to one bar. I'm gonna sing you to victory. Do it. <laughs> one more bar. You're going downtown. Downtown Jesus. is the farm, which I just recently discovered means you die. <laughs> Welcome to the death farm. Da -da 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 metal death farm song. You have like a grape lodged in your throat? Yes. <laughs> 
Oh. How could you tell? That just sounds like a dying whale. He summons a giant crystal wall at you. He's an earthbender! I got it! I figured it Dude, out! Dude, he's an earthbender! He's bending rocks at you from the ceiling, he's bending pillars at you. Good thing you're the avatar, you have all the elements of wind and fire, rock and mirror, and fairy, <laughs> and shovel. <laughs> and the world needed you most. You kind of just screwed over everyone by murdering all the guardians. We were so damn close to over the rainbow. Just, what? What? What's Music. going on? Uh, don't get near him. I don't trust him. He has one bar of health. What is this? Fade in the black. I bet we get to make a decision here. You cannot defeat me. We're on the same. We're one in the same. We're one in the same. You're not strong enough. I almost beat you. Fuck you. I am strong enough. You're looking pretty ragged there. Yeah. And those weak guardians are too cowardly to help you. I fucking killed them. I'm blowing. Whoa, what's going on? Oh god, it's the elements we were just talking about. Where's the mirror in the shovel? <laughs> <laughs> also, he's got a rockin' ponytail. I'm not gonna lie, the satyr has got a rockin' fucking ponytail. And Ellie just summoned- Oh, oh my, my god, god, where was the lightning power this whole oh, time? What the fuck? I want the lightning power now! Dude, he's wrecking his face! Holy shit! Oh my god, he's tearing- he's just destroying the island! The sky is like literally falling. The sky is falling, the sky is falling! Shut up, chicken little! <laughs> Nobody believes you anymore! Holy shit, it's the bomb bag kid! Uh, you need your bomb bag back though! Is everyone leaving the island? Oh my god, you ruined everyone's life! No sunglasses guy, I need you! Good thing there's only 17 people on this island, or this might be difficult. No, wow. Ellie is leaving too! Is, you what destroyed is the island! Holy shit! Elliot, what have you done? Holy hell. And we just ride off. And he stares back at the island, contemplating, did I make the right decision? Oh my god. Poor Kara. Man. Fucking bravo. Just bravo. Oh my god. I give that game like 9.9 9 out of 10. I give it 10 out of 10. Fuck it. It had its flaws, but fuck it. <laughs> this was an amazing game. The story was just fucking incredible. I, I mean, it had two flaws that actually slowed down gameplay. And really, once you get used to... In a like, normal game, I would make that like an 8 out of 10. This game is so good. Every other part of this game... Louis Zuno is the guy's real name, by the way. Holy shit, Louis Zuno. You are the fucking man. Uh, Holy hell. We just finished the Let's Play, too. We just beat the game. Yep. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play, and closing thoughts, if you have not played this game yet for some reason, it is coming out on the Wii U in February of 2015, so if it is past that date, check it out on the Wii U, check it out on Steam, check it out from what? Froglet Gaming, sorry, this, some of these <laughs> names are pretty great. These are all the Kickstarter funder names. I wish I had known about this game in the Kickstarter phase. I would 100% have funded it. Oh yeah, me too. I wish the Banana Cruise name could have been in here. This game was one of the biggest surprises to me. It was a surprise for me too. Like That ending was amazing. I did not expect him to just take all four of his elements and just shoot the shit out of the satire with lightning. The story was fulfilling. The gameplay was amazing. Special thanks to Juan Cruz Viato. I can't Joel pronounce that. Le 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 Dad, Mom, and Sister Baskets, and Family Diaz, Rodrigo, Manuel, is... Damn it, he got away from me. Back. Thanks yeah. for playing. And more importantly, thanks for joining us, crew. And we couldn't have done this without you, and I know we don't say this enough, but genuinely, thank you to everyone that watched this Let's Play. We love making videos, and we are so happy that we could entertain you. We had a hell of a fun time doing this video. What a great time. And really, it says thanks for playing, but thank you, Anzimaz, for just making this game. I love it so much. Yeah, it has two flaws, but when you get used to item switching, it really isn't that bad. I personally can get past it and get used to it and enjoy the fuck out of it. Some other people this maybe not, but... This game genuinely uh, impressed me around almost every corner. I, this is one of the best games I've ever played. I think that's gonna do it. We will see you guys... On the next Let's Play. In Lisa. Can't wait for that game either. It's yep. gonna be a fun one. We're the Banana Crew and we game.